I don't know if you heard, but a few days ago, Jenga FX announced in their latest livestream their anticipated liquid simulation software in public alpha, and the new 1.2 update of Embergen, giving themselves the title of the Master of Elements, and they finally announced the public beta release of Geogen, their new real-time terrain and planet generation software. So let's see what it's got and what it will offer. Geogen was actually announced in 2022 as Scenery Gen. The project itself was meant for research, meaning a chill project after the burst of working on both Ember Gen and Liquid Gen. But they decided to work on it as a serious project later on. And this public beta release marks the point three version of the software and brings to the table new features, updates, and fixes. The updates include the addition of spline support for multiple purposes, subgrab support, and new options for detailing, directional color, new gizmo, a cute cursor for more control over the effect of your nodes, I mean on the terrain, and more features that we'll look into in detail in this video. First of all, Geogen seems pretty overwhelming for its node-based approach. Dealing with nodes can indeed get overwhelming at some point or another of the project, if you have no way to organize them. As a small solution, the developers added a subgraph support. You can see it as a group alternative if you use Blender or any design software that uses nodes. It did offer the possibility to have a cleaner workflow, and you get to find yourself around in your projects and not get lost. Another feature is actually great, and this is the spline support, allowing you to have more control over height maps, masks, and terrain wrapping. And it is somehow similar to the pen tool in the design software to draw curves, except that now you will be able to draw some features like mountain ranges, rivers, and roads. And since the splines can branch in multiple ways, it gives you the possibility to have more complex features. New options for coloring and dealing with terrains also in the works. And one of them is the direction color blur system for variation over the surface color gradients for altitude, just to name an example. You can also see the implementation of noise and fractal options for detailing. In addition, the rock and splatter nodes both received some improvements and changes regarding how they work. And the rock node no longer has maximum height and has instead squeeze height. Plus, the masks are no longer deformed by the domain input for better consistency with the splatter node. And by the way, the splatter node also received a change to match with the rock node by giving its size more consistency. And to wrap up with these nodes, they both received an anisotropy parameter for non-uniform grids. And for a better workflow, the developers have added a cute little gizmo for keynotes and for an easy way to edit terrains in preview. In addition to improvements regarding the algorithm of the software, I mean the render engine of the software, allowing the preview of more details in the viewport. Now, of course, you might be wondering why choose Geogen, with all the terrain generation tools available out there. One of the things to know about Geogen is that it is completely node-based thus offering a non-destructive workflow over your mesh. To put it more simply, you will still have the possibility to reverse infinitely even after editing your terrain, and better than that, you can preview your terrain in real time. Having tried it, I can surprisingly say that it is really optimized and can work even on a low-budget PC, even with complex projects. So imagine what you can do with a really powerful PC. The tool actually has a strong resemblance of popular software, and it offers you different approaches for terrain creation with a very friendly interface. And the tool is still in development, which means it should offer more features and more support in the coming months and years. And when it comes to pricing, well, first of all, to buy it, you just have to hit their official website of JangaFX, where you can see the offers of different plans depending on you as a client. For the independent artists or freelancers and those who earn under a million dollars a year, you can buy Geogen for $149, that is per year. Then you can pay $75 per year for maintenance after that. And you can also choose to pay a monthly $10 per month in addition to other offers. So generally speaking, Geogen looks to me as a promising software and a nice addition to Jenga FX software especially since it is node-based and it works in real time. And there you have it, guys. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up 
Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.